the coastal plains the next important physical region of india the coastal plains are again on the both the sides just side of the western ghats and just the other side of the eastern ghats we have two coastal plains while moving on to the western side first on the western side it has been sandwiched between the arabian sea and the western ghats so it is very narrow and it is a very narrow strip here and it is called with different names in different regions the regions from mumbai to goa it is known as uh, konkan coast and from mumbai goa to the kerala region it is known as kannada plain and then from there towards the downwards it is known as uh, malabar coast so it is a narrow plain stretched from the gujarat region towards the entire kanyakumari belt and it covers a very wide region the only thing is it's very narrow plain pleasant there and moving on to the eastern sides it is very wide on to the eastern ghats to the coastal plains there it is very wide and it is called with uh, different names locally in the different regions on the northern part it is called as northern sarkars and on the southern part it is known as coromandel coast the important attraction here is we have a lake named chilika lake on the eastern side which is a very good attraction spot for many of the tourists so the coastal plains are on both the sides of india that is on the western side and the eastern side the western side they are been sandwiched between the western ghats and the arabian sea and they are called with three different names on three different regions locally konkan kannad and malabar coasts while on the eastern side it is very wide when contrary to the western side it's very narrow and it's called with the names like northern sarkars and coromandel coast the important attraction in the eastern side is lake chilika now let us learn about the islands if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus